I called off my wedding after sister-in-law shaved my beard in my sleep. My fiancé, Lexi, and I are a happy couple of six years and engaged for one. Or so I thought. My fiancé's sister, Sally has always been hostile towards me and would rarely speak to me, and when she did it would be because her parents were around. Sally is Lexi's rock because she got her through a tough time during college and since then Lexi has told Sally everything about everything. We've had problems with this in the past due to her telling Sally personal things about my childhood. I'd only told a few people, which led to us not speaking for three months during the virus when she'd only leave our room for food and to go to the toilet, and recently we hadn't had an argument in a year plus until three nights ago. She mentioned that she'd like me to shave my beard. I have a very thick beard that I've been growing for eight years and I'm very proud. So of course I told Lexi I wouldn't be shaving my beard, to which she stormed off to the kitchen and slammed her wine glass into the sink, smashing it in a plate in the process. It was a very clear overreaction on her part. I immediately stood up and asked what the F she was doing. She then spun around and screamed that I'm a selfish a hole because I won't shave my beard and ran to our bedroom and slammed the door. I ended up sleeping on the couch and woke up at around 4 a.m. to Sally with a razor trying to shave my beard so I pushed her off me. Lexi then ran to check on Sally whilst I was looking at the big patch Sally had taken out of my beard. Then I went upstairs and packed a bag whilst Lexi shouted at me for hurting Sally. I told her to F off and that the wedding was off and drove an hour to my parents house where I've been staying since the incident. Earlier today I got a text from Sally saying I was selfish for not shaving my beard because when I go down on Lexi it feels weird. I haven't replied to her. My family thinks I should break off the relationship but her family said I should just shave it all and move on. So what should I do? When am I wrong? Edit I've now got as of typing 99 plus text slash calls from Lexi saying things like don't leave, let's have intimacy one more time and I'm pregnant. She's trying to baby trap me. Lexi messaged me more weird things missed me and I'll take the baby too which I didn't understand until Sally messaged me saying Lexi is in hospital being treated after SU side attempt. I don't believe it at all. I've blocked Sally's number now. I called the police and showed evidence of her suicidal messages, so she hopefully will be getting checked into an institution. Lexi's aunt, who is the only person on her side who agrees with me, just called me to tell me Lexi has been checked into a psychiatric unit for two weeks. I filed a police report on Sally for assault, and I'm in the process of cancelling the wedding venue. I'm back at the house. I've had a locksmith change the locks just in case the wedding venue can't be refunded, but it was going to be paid by her parents anyway, so I don't care. I've also contacted my lawyers. Good riddance.